uh, the competition so far has been excellent. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys. Malcolm's playing well. Matt Burrell's playing well. Knox is in there playing well. Bowen's really playing well. He may end up in, in, in that spot. So right now we're just trying to develop some fundamental toughness, get the fundamentals and things in, and then start working on them. But right now uh, it's a wide-open competition. And Isaiah, right tackle, the player said he's one of the most improved players in the team in all ways. So, so far so good. You know, he, he's taken – he struggled at times last year, and he's taken that to heart. This offseason has been outstanding, and what we've done so far is attention to detail and the work ethic and the little things he's been doing are tremendous. When you have a guy, you have a guy like that who struggles and clearly got down about it, how, what's the challenge in rebuilding his confidence? Well, the challenge is to show him why he made the mistakes. Because you know, it's like anything else. When guys start making mistakes, the first thing they do is they get down on themselves. What you've got to do is revert back to your training, trust your technique, and that was his first time starting to make some mistakes. He saw those, he's worked on those, he's watched the film, he studied it, and now the difference in the kid is, like I just said, his attention to detail and the little things is not even close to where it was last year. He's focused, he's determined, and those are the things that make the difference. And cohesion is so important on an offensive line, but is there any chance at right guard you guys could rotate, or do you have to find not rotate series to series yeah. like that, but, but do you guys have to find one guy that's... That you're no, you, you'd guys. like to. No, if, if it ends up being two guys, you'd love to play two guys. So we'll see how that folds out, but we got a lot of time right now, and the best thing they're doing is giving effort and straining and fighting for it. And, you know, there's nothing greater than competition. And that's where there's an open job, guys fly around for it. And now we've got great competition, so we'll find out and see how it shakes out. I know from talking in the spring, you said Malcolm needed to do a better job of learning the play, but the talent was there as he... Has he come a long way he's in that respect? He's come a long way in that respect. Like I said, his is amazing. What he's made mistakes on so far is, is more than cut in half from what it was in the spring. But he's still got a ways to go. And we're still putting more stuff in every day and adding and getting our offense in and find out what we're going to do. So that's his challenge, to keep mentally stay on top of that stuff so that can allow himself to use his physical ability and play. What about uh, Matthew, Matthew Burrell? It's a little bit of a slow start to his career. He's come on. What, what's his progress been like? Well, I think it's one of those things where you, you start to see young guys come in, and here you are, and those young guys are doing things, and they're getting opportunities, and you're getting One day the switch goes off, and you realize, I guess I better go. That's the best way to describe what's happened to Matt. He's realized, i got to go. This is my time. I've been here long enough. It's time to perform. And that's exactly how he's practicing. That's exactly how he's watching film. He's understood that, you know, it's his time now. And if not, someone's going to go by you. Is there a case where, I mean, every day it seems to change in your mind who's the leader of that position or what? Not every day, but you can say that. Because certain guys have good, good days, certain guys have bad days. And like I said, that competition is wonderful because you don't have to say anything to him except go. What have you seen from Josh Myers so far? Really good. He's learning things. He's, I'll tell you right now, he is so strong, physically strong. And, and he's an excellent, excellent run blocker. We've had to work on his pass blocking. You know, he was in that offense where it was just put four hands around him off and kill somebody. So he's learning to work on the pass protection, moving his feet. And he is a really strong physical run blocker. We're working on the rest of his game. How's Wyatt stepping in? And what, what, what have you seen out of him? I mean, is he, is he living up to what you thought he'd be? No question. Wyatt was really, really good today. And him and Fair, you know, they're coming in here. We're throwing things in. And, and every day something new is in. The defense puts another defense in, another thing in. Every day things pile on those two kids. And Josh Myers, he, he was here in the spring, but you know, those other two kids especially, they're handling it wonderful right now. And like I told him, just, just go hard. Learn to go hard first. We'll figure the rest out later. I was going to say, where, where, where are you working those guys? I mean, uh, <laughs> Fair's going to work the right tackle. Right Wyatt's in that, in that right guard rotation. Right, right, yeah. No Brandon Bowen sounds like he's coming along. Coach Myers was talking about him. Is he in the mix of tackle, guard, backup spots of both? Or? Both. Yeah. Both. And he's played both so far now. He's played tackle and he's played guard. He's in the mix for both. And I, I you know, I've been on him, but I can't say enough about what he's done so far. I know it's early, but the depth seems really good. Is Unbelievable. It's, okay. it's way different from where it was from where it was last year. Yes. The confidence in guys. I mean, there's there's three guys in some spots that are getting reps because they're doing so well. So that's that's exciting. And again, that creates competition and lets you build a cohesive line. Did you count with straight, but were there times when you held your breath last year? Hoping you wouldn't have to go to the well. If you understand what I'm saying, Greg? I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I do understand what you're yeah. saying. If you, and if you mean injury, somebody coming out last year. Yeah. 
I did hold my breath, absolutely. There's no question. Is, are you having to hold your breath less this year? Yeah, well, that's I mean, right. I feel like, I feel like I'm down. above air. Yeah. You know, I'm above air. I can breathe. Yeah. You're 100% correct. Yeah. Someone would have got hurt last year. There was not that confidence in those backups at all. Yeah. Not and that confidence at all. Kevin, Kevin said earlier. It did. So you, you how, saw do, that. how do you... And, and that's why we're working so hard now. That's why we're trying guys now to build depth. So if something does happen at a crucial time and someone goes in, they're ready. They're not ready to fail. They're ready to get the job done. And we can count on them. And they're accountable to everybody on this team. Kevin said an ideal situation is having eight guys in play. I mean, you... Eight or ten. Yeah, eight or I'm ten. I'm with you. Yeah. But, yeah, you, you want to get a backup at tackle. You want to get a backup at guard. Obviously, you got to have a backup center. So if you have one, but if you have more than one, and I think right now we're on the path to have more than one. And I'm excited. We'll see how it pans out. It's still early, but we're on that path right now. Who would be your upset? Yeah.